Howdy folks. Now today we're going to do a video that I haven't done in a long time and that's fly about with the old drone and talk. In this case about the old floods which are out again and we're going to go up to the old black cat and see what they're doing up there with the old diggers and stuff. So let's crack on shall we? So yesterday, Friday, um, this was about a foot higher so where you've got a bit of grass there that was fully underwater um, and we had oh we had a bit of we had quite a bit of rain thursday so i'm surprised today that we've not had some ooze water come and um you know it's uh you know it's, it hasn't gone up more because it was up about a foot up of the um, water trough there so uh, yeah that was yesterday so i'm surprised it's gone down but it may still come up ted's quite excited he's not sure what to make of the drone are you ted who is it ted <laughs> he's gonna have the drone if we're not careful good boy so we're going to have a look at the weir and the lock that we um uh we looked at in the video oh, last week because it's definitely higher than it was then so yeah, there's quite a bit of water going over that way at the minute, isn't there? You certainly wouldn't want to be in there, would you? Look at that. Yeah, still going to be the undercurrent there and everything. There's the... that's actually just over the top of the lock walls there, isn't it? So... But, uh, not to say, yeah, yesterday it was a foot higher, so... Mm, it would have been, yeah, it would have been covering the grass there and everything, like... There's some lakes over the back. When it gets really high, it does go over that um, that bank there, like, and it will get higher over there, and the river will go into it, and you'll see. <laughs> see that lovely sort of clear blue lake goes brown from the old flood water lot. But uh, yeah, it's receded quite a bit because all that grass there you see in the foreground would have been underwater yesterday. Again. And that uh, there, the lock cottage, that is just like a, well, it's good job it's built up a little bit because the water completely surrounds that when uh, when it gets up. And yeah, there's the, um, where are we? No, sorry. There you go, there's the, I can see it for looking then. There's the oval, that little bridge there, Meccano Bridge. That's where they join in there. And then up the um, up the river it goes. And yeah, all that bit of ground there you can see is, uh, is grazing ground. Cows go out there. There's quite a bank there. You see where it's sort of middle of shot there, where it's kind of like a little stream there. That's where it raises up. So it very, well it doesn't, well, I've never known it to get up into this bit of grass lot like, because that's quite high compared to uh, down here lot. Like. As you can see, there's quite a bit of water about, isn't there, lot? Like. Actually, a lovely clear day. A little bit of a frost this morning. It was about minus one, I think, so. That is the drone. Um, I don't know why it does that. It puts the brakes on. When you go and sort of flat out, it... Uh, Sometimes gets a bit worried and puts the brakes on a lot. And you have to centre the sticks. So that in bottom of shot there is a little marina. And I remember, was it cool, a couple of years, two or three years ago, where the A1 there, middle of shot, where the traffic's going around to the, um, going around that right hand bend, heading up the, up the screen, so to speak, there was a, um, actually no, it was that bridge there, wasn't it? Um, one of the uh, the narrow boats got jammed against the bridge long ways in one of the floods. Didn't sink or anything. Just uh, just got um, sort of jammed in there a lot. So um, yeah, the other thing we've got coming through here, as well as all the work on the black cat, 
is a railway. They're going to put uh, the East West Railway through here as well, which will be uh, awesome fun. Which, uh, I mean, there's a lot of opinions on it, whether it's still going to go ahead or not, or what it probably is. Um, but there's a, there's a coach service at the minute, the X5, which does the Oxford to Cambridge, basically what it is, Oxford to Cambridge, Cambridge to Oxford. And you never see anyone on it. So I can't see the, you know, it goes to, you know, Oxford to Cambridge, stops at Bedford and probably a few other stops along the way. But um, I can't see, you know, I can't see that many more people. You know, no one uses the coach service, who's going to use the train service lot? I really don't know. But, um, yeah, they're starting to get a bit of work done, getting some, um, you know, getting the, that's the, obviously one of the compounds there that they've put into place lot. This is all old gravel works um, on the right here, and you can see, you know, that's where the river goes, and that's all flooded as well. So they're going to be building across that. The road basically goes, <coughs> um, so whether they're actually doing away completely with the roundabout, probably not, but there's certainly going to be a flyover from the traffic on the left there, which is coming from Bedford. Um, that'll go straight over and then just keep following that sort of centre of uh, shot and then across all that water and then and you can probably make out there a lot it, um, yeah, let me zoom in a bit uh, there's some works going on well, some groundwork's going on there and then it goes just all the way over there it's got to get over the railway there as well East Coast Main Line is that um, sort of middle of shot um, so it's got to get over that as well so it's a fair old engineering project, about ooh, three or four years, I think they're going to say that's going to be, probably be longer than that, won't it, lot? But, um, yeah, it's, as it's a Saturday, not a lot's working, but they're still on sort of prep work. They haven't really got too much going, although, when we look over there to the uh, flyover, you see they're, they're starting to build up where that flyover is, centre of shot, they are... Um, building that up on the left there so they're starting to get a bit of work done but they're not by any means you know flat out on it like but there is a lot of um, you know there's a lot of uh, like further up two or three miles up there's another you know it's a neat sort of it's a neat, it's a is about two or three miles um, to the right of the power see the big building there Sort of left the shot, that's the uh, little bar for power station. So, uh, right of that, like, is uh, there's another stage in there, if you know what I mean. A lot of machines working there, so they're working, you know, all the way along the route, lot. But, uh, yeah, that's the little bar for power station there. Smoking away. Or steaming away, should I say? It's not smoke, it's steam. So, uh, yeah, but as you can see, you know, it's sort of Saturday, mid mid morning Saturday, and there's plenty of traffic all over the shop lot. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of uh, a pain in the proverbial for us for the next uh, four years, I should think. So yeah, but as a what I should do when they sort of get going, I'll do I'll I'll fly up there and do sort of regular updates, I reckon. You know, to get some machines working out, I'll fly up there during the week and whatever and have a, have a look at what they're up to. So we're just flying up the uh, grazing fields now. See all the tracks there where the cows walk. They walk in line. Over the massive power cables, don't want to fly into one of them, thank you. So yeah, up in these fields here, this is where the slurry will get pumped to, if it ever dries out. So that's one of the slurry fields we put, um, uh, one of the fields we put the slurry on. And we tend to go into that dog leg as well, the one sort of just uh, coming into view now. So uh, yeah, a bit wet for that job at the minute, isn't it? That's the wood there. Well, I say the wood, that's the... <coughs> That was the wood um, that they clear felled ooh, a couple of years ago. 
and you'll see uh, if you look back in my videos a couple of years there's um, I had a go on one of the forwarders um, Hornby Enterprises had a had a massive Komatsu forwarder here and I had a go on that and it was awesome couldn't drive it because it's so complicated but uh, they clear felled this because um, basically there's a lot of um, wind fallen trees so you know trees that have just been blown it was chaos in there there was trees all blown over all over the shop so it got uh, clear felled and has been replanted you can't really do all, put it all under the water in a minute but uh, has been replanted so um, that will grow up in a few years time and we have got another another tree that blew over the other day there you go is that an ash tree I think it is so we've got that to clear up let's go down and just have a look at that we had one just a bit further round last year that uh, blew over because of course oh dear they're gonna no we don't want to return to home yet Yes, I don't want you to return home. Um, but yeah, we have bumble down there because of course all the cover's gone. So these ash trees that they left, um, these ash trees that they left, they're all now exposed to the to the wind. Whereas with the you know the the um, uh, the the wood there as it was, they were they were all right, they were protected, but. You know, they should have just clear failed the lot, not left the ash as well, but there you go. So we are coming back, hopefully we're clear of it, yeah, we're going to be clear of them power lines, aren't we? And that beeping is to tell me we are low on battery. We've still got 21% left, but uh, yeah, we are low on battery, so. And seeing as I took off on the little bridge behind me that I'm just stood on, as you'll see as I come into view, um, I don't, you know, it will land on there, but I'd rather it didn't. I'd rather be in control of it. Coming under them power lines. There you go, Ted. Ted. Ted's trying to kill it. Ain't you, Ted? So anyway, there you go. Hope that was fairly interesting. And uh, Ted, leave it alone. Ted, blooming idiot. Um, yeah. Once they get sort of working properly on that, uh, on the black cat there, doing all the construction work, I'll pop up there now and again and see what I can see and have a look. Ted, come here. You're being an idiot, so sit down. Ooh. Right, better land it, because it's going to try and land itself in a minute. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that uh, vid. We'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta. Leave it. Leave it. There you go, Ted. See, that was all right, wasn't it? <laughs> See ya.